Hello Capricorn, welcome to your uh, intuitive reading. Uh, there's no spread for this, we're just going to be pulling cards. Um, Capricorn, I feel like somebody wants to know if they have your backing or if they have your support with something that they're wanting to do, with something that they're wanting to jump into. I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody else in your life is being the fool, as in like they're taking a risk, they're jumping all into something, they're, uh, they're stepping into the unknown and they just want to know if you can uh, get behind some kind of idea that they have, if you can believe in something the way that they can. If you will support them in this endeavor or in everything that they do, I feel like I feel like your support or your love or your encouragement is very important to somebody. Uh, they they emotion they respond to you emotionally uh, very much. Like you have a lot of control or sway over this person. So you now this could be a child of yours. Uh, this could be just a child in general. Someone's heavily influenced by you, and. Uh, you know, I, I feel like in a way someone needs your blessing to move forward with something. So they just want to know, are you going to support me in this? I feel like Capricorn, yeah, I feel like you will. But, you know, the point is somebody wants to know if you will. Okay, so I feel like somebody wants your blessing. Are you going to give it to them? Uh, let, let's um, let's pull another message for y'all, Capricorn. Uh, what you got for Capricorn? So Capricorn, I feel like you are dealing with someone here that is a sweetheart. Okay, I don't know if this is like a coworker, if this is a friend of yours, if this is a partner. Somebody here really don't want to step on nobody's toes, okay? Somebody wants to do everything the right ethical way, okay? They don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. They don't want anyone to feel a type of way about anything. They just want their intentions to be known, clear, concise, and uh, direct. I feel like you're dealing with a very respectful, courteous, humble sweetheart, okay? This person is a sweetheart. Um, this person wants to do things the right way, okay? They don't want to hurt nobody. They just want to succeed or they just want to get further. And I feel like somebody just wants to know, like, you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be my best man, you're gonna be my best woman, my, uh, my, my, my bridesmaid or something like that. Okay. Um, what's this Knight of Swords here for Capricorn? What is this Knight of Swords for Capricorn? Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you may have a disagreement with somebody. Uh, I don't know, some of y'all may lash out on someone. I feel like some kind of disagreement ends up in like a agree to disagree kind of thing. Like I, I see you squashing some, I see you having a uh, beef or having some issues with somebody. Then I see y'all squashing the beef, squashing these issues and deciding to let bygones be bygones. Uh, I feel like you're deciding to put your pride behind you and uh, to really show up for somebody. So this could be you and another person are having to put your, put your pride aside to show up for another person. Like this could be like a parental thing, like, Mom and dad have to put their pride aside to show up for, for little Joey or for little Becca, okay? Like, uh, or, or like you and someone else have to, put, have, to, have to put your pride aside to show up for your mom or for your dad. This feels like it's almost like someone's graduation or it's almost like it's a baby taking their first steps. Like, yeah, maybe y'all two hate each other, but can y'all both applaud for a beautiful thing right here? Can y'all both put your pride aside and, and be happy for this beautiful thing called love or for this beautiful, for this beautiful moment? And I feel like you can. I feel like... Um, Nothing's gonna ruin this moment. Not one's, not one's uh, hatred for another, not one's disrespect. Um, it feels like this moment needs to be savored and it feels like some moment is pure. So I feel like for the sake of the moment, for the sake of uh, creating a pure memory, um, you put something to the side. Okay, agree to disagree, let's squash it, let's burn it, whatever, and let's just have a good time. That's what I feel like, Capricorn, okay? Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Judgment. Some of y'all, this is you putting the past behind you because there's other things to worry about. You know, life is a, life is beautiful. Life is a beautiful thing. And you don't have to concern yourself with um, things that uh, just don't put you in the right headspace or don't make you feel good, okay? That don't, that don't lead up to anything. So I feel like some of y'all are deciding to squash some kind of beef, okay? Um, what else do you have for Capricorn? Some of y'all, this, this sounds a little bit morbid, but some of y'all are gonna outlive somebody. So this is why you squash the beef with them. So this could be a parent that's sick or a parent that's old or someone that's old. Like, you know, they're not gonna be around for a while as morbid and as messed up as that sounds. So it's like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight with you or I'm gonna, I'm gonna squash, I'm gonna get rid of this burden. I'm gonna uh, get rid of this grudge that I have for you because at the end of the day, you don't have much time left. Like, you know, I feel like you're putting your, you're putting your um, your beliefs, you're putting something aside 
for some greater good or for some bigger picture because at the end of the day like what you're you know it is the truth like someone doesn't have much time or at the end of the day um it isn't that big of a deal compared to the celebration like the weight of 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 some grudge that you're holding compared to the weight of another thing it doesn't compare it you know i feel like the other thing outweighs it in terms of importance but yeah that's what i'm getting okay we got the two of pentacles what is the two of pentacles here for capricorn uh two of pentacles uh some of y'all may have to disappoint somebody okay i feel like you can only hold on to so much this is some of y'all making promises to everybody and everyone and everything that walks okay and some of y'all are gonna have to start saying no and disappoint some people because you have i feel like you're busy capricorn you got you got a lot of stuff on your plate this person is juggling okay this person is trying to keep things in perfect equal equilibrium perfect balance and in order to not drop that you know someone here has to be able to maintain what they're juggling so anything anything that adds a little too much to your plate you may have to drop it and say no and i feel like that's going to cause some strife or some arguments between you and somebody else but if they don't get that then i mean oh well like you're one person you can't do 25 different things like yeah maybe you're superwoman or you're superman but also you're a human being so someone here has to understand that so you may have to say no to somebody and they have to understand that that's it but i feel with this king of cups uh you know i feel like they will be understanding however if they are not then you know that's that's their problem it's not your business uh, what is this for capricorn that they're gonna have to disappoint somebody with what is this for capricorn they're gonna have to disappoint someone because i feel like you're gonna have to tell someone no like no i can't show up or no i can't buy you this thing no it's too expensive you know no i'm trying to save up for this uh ace of swords what is this for um some of this could be a scorpio you're disappointing someone now it feels like this person is younger than you who is this person that Capricorn is potentially disappointing here? Who is this? Uh, the star. Some of those could be an Aquarius. What is this disappointment? What is this disappointment here? What is this disappointment for Capricorn? What is this disappointment? Some of those could be regarding an Aries. What is this disappointment? Maybe someone here cannot show up for something uh, or someone cannot show up the way that they said. The hanged man and the sun. Uh, this could be like some kind of delay. Maybe someone here is making you wait for something. So I feel like you have to go on without somebody or go on without this thing. Like maybe somebody promised you something or maybe something was supposed to come by a certain time. You know, there's a hold up on it. There's some uh, there's some backup, you know, maybe something's on back order. So I feel like you're going to have to go on your own or do without for quite some time. It feels like a minor setback, to be honest. The hanged man and the sun. Now, I feel like with the sun, you're going to be successful without it. Like, you're going to be fine. Uh, you're going to be well taken care of and you're in good hands. Capric uh, Capricorn is what I want to say. Somehow, this is like, I'm hearing like, what's the hold up? Like, this could be like y'all waiting in line for something. It's like, what's the hold up? Like, it's almost like Capricorn. Like, you're trying to go to a business and you're trying to spend your money there. Like, you're trying to buy something. And it's like someone's making you wait in line to spend money for their service. Like, how you going to make me wait in line? to support your business like what kind of unprofessional like this feels feels like something's very unprofessional like i feel like you're trying to be a good patron you're trying to be a good supporter and like it takes something takes like 50 years to come to you so it's like what kind of bullshit I, you know i feel like it's a disappointment it's a minor setback or whatever this is it's like someone's making you wait to spend money on their bit like you like you need my patronage i don't need you and you're making me wait like what kind of customer service is this it feels like something sucks here so I feel like something is a, is a disappointment because it doesn't live up to the hype. Like you go there and then you're left waiting for like hours online or you're left waiting for hours on the telephone. Like something that was really hyped up, I feel like it don't deserve the hype around it. It feels like something here is average or even less than average, honestly. So I feel like you're going to go with something else or you're just going to cut something out cold turkey. Give me another card for this for um, Capricorn. We have um, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're going to go find something elsewhere, okay? I feel like some of y'all are going to take your business elsewhere or take some kind of money elsewhere. Capricorn, something's a blessing in disguise because um, this, this would have been a waste of your time or it would have led to future disappointment. So at least they disappointed you early on so that, um, you know, you didn't have to have a lot of, a lot invested and then, you know, it's harder to, to, to pull out later. So I feel like it's good that you learn now what someone was about or what something was about. It feels like there's someone here that will not like while, while there's one energy that's making you wait there's another that will respect your time and your energy 
Okay, there's another that's going to actually respect your money and the fact that you are a willing uh, patron. That you, like, this is this is like you wanting to throw money at something and someone's like, no. Or someone's like, disrespecting you. And it's like, but I'm supporting you. This is like someone here is biting the hand that feeds them. And, you know, this person keeps doing this, they're going to lose people. This is how someone here loses support. This is how someone loses patronage. This is how someone loses uh, friends, family. Like, this could be, like, this could be, like, you're trying to give the person that has nobody a chance, and then you end up doing, you end up being generous, or you end up showing some care, and then you, you end up hurt and realizing why they have nobody, and that you should have left them alone. So I see you abandoning something, and it's, it's, it's for your greatest good, Capricorn. It feels like it's for your benefit, you know, uh... But like something causes some kind of a perspective change possible clarity possible this is this literally feels like an enlightenment moment capricorn but um it feels like something is needed okay but that's what i got for you capricorn this is a short reading but that's what i got well all of these readings are meant to be shorter so i can get more of them out but that's what i got for you capricorn um that has been your reading uh let me know if that helped you in some way feels beautiful still okay it feels like a good turnaround anyways okay but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in your next reading bye guys